Hey everybody, it's Paula from Paula's Primary Classroom. Today I want to show you what's included in my Ocean Sight Word Sentence Picture Match Reading Center. So there are absolutely sentences and pictures for students to match. I've got six of them up here right now, but there are three sets of six. So you can see um, there's a few more of them, and you can see that the sentences are real heavy on pre-primer, primer words, and then also color and number words. Those are things a lot of our young kiddos are working on, so that's what's in here for them. I talked recently on Instagram about using a smaller copy of my sentences and the ray that is in there with an open mouth in there and having students read the words, read the sentences, and then feed them to the ray. That was a lot of fun for them to do. It includes a small ray that you just fold and then clip on the top, like this one, and a larger ray that can sit on top of any kind of plastic bowl container, and you can feed the words into that. Since this activity is intended for our emergent readers who are just really working on sight words and color and number words, I included two vocabulary posters with all of the thematic words on it because we know that while they may be able to read this is the, turtle might be a little difficult for them. So all of these thematic words are here and can be displayed next to the reading center or they can go in a writing center and along with writing paper and that has lines in three different sizes because different students have different handwriting needs. So I've got all three of those in there. There are also worksheets because when my students do an independent center like this, I like to have something for them to follow up so that they can show me that they did indeed do some work during those center times. So for accountability, there are worksheets. The final component is some scrambled sentences. As you can see, I have put this one in order. I see a crab under the turtle and matched it to the picture. These are still scrambled up, so students need to look for the capital letter and put that at the beginning of a sentence. And they need to look for the period and put that at the end of the sentence. And then they can figure out what the meaning of the sentence is from there. Uh, the in shark is seaweed. That doesn't make sense. A something. If it's a something, it has to be a noun. So I'm going to put a shark. Oh, a shark is. That would work. A shark is the seaweed. A shark is the in. A shark is in the seaweed. So you can see students have to think about the meaning, read the individual words, and then they can find the picture that goes with it. There are six of these scrambled sentences to go up on your um, reading center, and they just come, they are ready to cut out, laminate, and throw up on your reading center. And again, you may want follow-up activities, so there are three pages that come, each with two scrambled sentences and a picture to put them next to. So students can practice this and demonstrate that understanding for you. You can use it for morning work. You can do it during center time. Obviously, there are lots of times when you need something like this to keep your students actively reading and busy while you work with other students. I hope you find this helpful. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.